y'all. Welcome back to my channel, Mississippi Girl Life. I am Tamika, just a country Mississippi girl, born and raised, but now is living in North Carolina. This channel is aimed to motivate and inspire you. I hope you enjoy. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. So, y'all, in this video, we're going to do some meal planning, okay? I'm about to show y'all a quick, easy way that you can have multiple meals okay healthy meals multiple meals at your fingertip without standing over a stove all day so i've been talking to y'all for a while a couple years and it's like everything is finally coming into play um about i used to love crock pocket yes i call it crock pocket crock pot meals okay when my kids was toddlers, y'all know I have three kids. I have a almost 18 year old. God said the same should be 18 in May. Uh, my son just turned 15 and my daughter, my other daughter will be 14 in August. I'm um, not August, in April, April, okay? So when my kids, I, you see I have two kids back to back. <laughs> um, I was pregnant almost two years straight, okay? So when i had my kids having a toddler having an infant and then pregnant again crop pocket crop pot meals was my thing and i also did freezer meals okay where i cooked up a lot of food put it in a deep freezer vacuum sealed it or either just froze it in freezer containers y'all saw a couple weeks ago i went and picked up my freezer containers when i was telling y'all i'm going back to my freezer and cook meals but so much been going on you know dental stuff and all this just a lot getting ready for spring garden it's been a lot so i hadn't got to it but today y'all so um yes no today i uploaded my pescatarian grocery haul just some little knickknacks now when i say pescatarian some days we'll be straight pescatarians and some days we will be poly pescatarians poly pescatarians allow you to eat poultry nothing else poultry still seafood poultry and seafood you can eat but no red meat none of that and i was pretty much that i didn't know the name of it, but i was i was um poly pescatarian for about 10 years okay and i didn't know the name of it i wouldn't touch beef nor pork because it don't digest for me or nothing like that also vegetable oil and stuff like that do not digest it, it don't digest at all i'd be miserable so my kids has the same situation and then with me not having the gallbladder having it taken out last year that's something else i have to work on all in all with the GERD and everything my digestion we have to eat healthy and the kids is the same way so with everything going on um far as what i have to do and stocking up with trying to get the garden and stuff done i bought out my three burner crock pot and i have two rice cookers that's also crock pots all in one i have an instant pot um and i have an electric skillet okay it's not a crock pot but it's an electric skillet. so i'm gonna show y'all because you can literally spend a little money get you a couple crock pots and do so many meals and have food at your fingertips okay this is my lifestyle this has always been my lifestyle but i did take a huge break between the moving military life and stuff like that it was a lot we you know we was dealing with a lot so it was a lot of moving and all this stuff trying to get situated so in the last couple years so yes but now it's ready to get this thing on and going so i'm not going to continue to talk y'all going to see me and the thing about this when you have multiple crock pots you can put it on and you can set it and almost forget it okay and another thing is you can season everything right you ain't got to stand over no stove y'all and like i say my our meals is going back to clean eating so i'm just doing something quick now to get the ball rolling and then i'll be doing once i have food in my refrigerator for a couple days that we can eat off from then without me having to say oh what is for this this that and the other then once i have that that's what i'm starting right now having that and then when i start making stuff that stuff will get packaged away and put in my deep freezer okay um and what i do is when i pull some out of the deep freezer to defrost once it defrosts i allow myself a little while so i can put it in my and my um crock pots bigger crock oh and i have another regular crock pot so i have enough crock pots <laughs> 
to be able to heat stuff up where I don't have to pull out a pot and a pan all the time. We come into spring, we got a lot of stuff going on, y'all. If y'all doing gardens and all this, you got to eat healthy, but you got to have the time to do everything else. And that is what I'm going for in this video. So, I'm going to stop rambling and everything, but I had to give you a little bit of a story so you'll understand and be caught up to what's going to go on on this channel. So, it's all about motivating, inspiring you getting everybody ready and on board and try to have it easy as possible healthy as possible i'm not a physician i'm not a doctor or anything like that but i have lived a certain lifestyle for years up until 2020 i got off my rocker everything was going on you was pretty much eating what you can get and this that and the other got off my rocker you see what happened gallbladder issues having them take out having it taken out last year and the different things I done dealt with since then and all that. <sighs> okay. So, it's time to get it back onto my clean eating. It's time for me to get this gut back down, y'all. Because I had got it back down. And then y'all probably, some of y'all been saying, Oh, it look like you, 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 you getting progress. Yes, I will get progress really fast with my gut and getting back to my targeted weight if I stay on it. I don't even have to go to the gym because I'm very active all by itself. So, Eating healthy and getting rest is the key. And we can't do that with everything we have to do, prepping and gardening and all that type of stuff. Y'all, we can't do that. And when I say we, I'm talking about you and I. We can't do that and then try to have a healthy meal, okay? So, let's go ahead and get into this video. Alright, y'all. So, we're going to start right here. So, what I do is, right now, because I, I have like, pe um, not peanuts, potatoes and stuff that I could um, peel and stuff like that that's fresh. But I'm not using those right now. I'm going to just, I'm just, my goal right now is to get food cooked and ready for a couple of days. So while I'm doing what I need to do, um, more fresh away and stuff like that. While I'm doing that, then I don't have to worry about, you know, food. Um, so I am going to just put everything in here. Try to fill as much as possible i know i can add another can or two of potatoes in here now you probably noticed that i ain't got no juice in my cans it's because i pulled it out i want much food in it and then i will add my own water i will add the water that i need okay um and y'all this thing was out there in my garage i used to do concession at a flea market and that's when i had i've had this three burner for a long time and i just wasn't using it or nothing so I'm putting it to use now, y'all. Um, I need about two cans of whole potatoes and about two cans of sweet peas coming in here. So, y'all, I, I started out with three cans. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open these next cans. And then I got to find what I'm going to be putting off in that one. And then I'm going to get back to you. All right, y'all. So, I got some more cans open. All right, all right, all right. So I'm gonna put two more cans of sweet peas in here because I want it filled to the top because I gotta make meals. Now while I'm doing this, let me just go ahead and tell you. So y'all know, um, and I'll show y'all in a little bit. I still have all my meal prepping containers. You could get them though. They probably a little bit more now than what they was um when I got them a couple years back. But my little meal prepping container. So what I'm gonna do when all this food is ready, I'm gonna go ahead and portion everybody's food out in it. And set them off up in the refrigerator so you can take it out and put it in the microwave because they are dishwasher and microwave safe, okay? Because I don't have time. <laughs> I don't have the time. I'm only one person, okay? So let me put these um, potatoes off up in here. So the plan is I'm going to season these sweet peas up. Um, Y'all will see that. I'm going to season these potatoes up. Uh, for this, I am just going to be using these potatoes as boiled potatoes. Um, and then what I went on and opened up was two of these big cans of green beans so i'm gonna pull those off up in there but one of the cans was open and kind of funky like so i had to drain them and put them off in here let me see if i'm gonna need some more these little things look small but they hold they hold a good little bit i think that'll be fine so if you see like i told you i don't have any you don't see no liquid and that's because I pour all my liquid off and I add my own liquid so that's what I'm about to do. No 
Though sometimes life can be tough And you feel like you just had enough When you're thinking everything is gone wrong Just remember that I All right, y'all. So I went on and put everything on to get it all started or whatnot. So now what I'm about to do is add some seasoning to everything. Okay. Add some seasoning to everything. So I chopped up these onions. I went up and did that because y'all, I like onions in everything. Okay. And onions, if you can digest them, I've just been able to really digest onions since my gallbladder been out. Yep. Since it's been out, I, I've i been able to digest a lot more food. But there are some things that still get me because there is something called silent reflux. It may not get you when you eat it, but it'll get you a couple days later. <laughs> so I have silent reflux too, or GERD, silent GERD, whatever. But onions, if they are cooked, they don't bother me now. They used to, but not now. So I have my onions in there. Um, Now I am going to put in some um, pink Himalayan salt, all right? That is what I'm seasoning them with. So I'm just, I just take it and just sprinkle. I know about how much I need. So, sprinkle it all in. Oh, need a mist, but it's fine. here should have been easier to put it do it like this but pink Himalayan salt and everything all right and a little bit more to these potatoes now yeah I love me some boiled potatoes oh they are so good you cannot go wrong with boiled potatoes okay Next, I did not put a label on this, but this is my little mixture, okay? I took some paprika and some parsley and different things and mixed it all together. And it kind of just infused together or whatnot, but it's like my all-in-all -all seasoning. <laughs> um, so, I am going to sprinkle that on everything. Yes. Just like that. I keep it simple with the seasonings, okay? Simple as possible. Now I'm going to add a little black pepper to everything. Just a little bit, not a lot. Alright. Alright, y'all. So now for the sweet peas, I am going to add, I have some raw turbotine. Turbinado, turbinado, not turbotine, turbinado, something like that. Cane sugar, okay, it's raw, all right? So it's supposed to be healthier. I try to stay away from the white sugar. So I am adding some of this into my sweet peas, all right? And then that's going to make my sweet peas not taste the same as my <laughs> green beans since I use the same seasoning. But I added some of that. And then for my green beans... I am about to add some of this liquid smoke. Yes. Liquid smoke to my green beans. Okay. So you don't need a whole lot because it's strong. Alright. Enough. But I do put a little bit. You put it at your own aggression. Okay. Whatever it is that you want to put however much. Then yeah. So now I am going to stir everybody. Um, and put the lids back on. Okay, y'all, one thing I had forgot to add is I got some minced garlic. I got some regular garlic over there, but I'm going to go ahead. I don't feel like chopping it up right now because I got some more stuff to do. But I'm going to go ahead and um add some minced garlic to everything. Onions and garlic, yes. So I'm putting minced garlic in everything, okay? 
that is what I'm about to do. You cannot go wrong with onions and garlic. Um, I try to keep it um, as fresh as possible, but I had this garlic, so I'm going to go ahead and use it, okay? <laughs> go ahead and use it. So, that's what I wanted to show you. That is something else that I did put into this. You just had enough. thinking everything is gone wrong just remember that I So everything is done. You saw me do chicken. I did rice and y'all saw what I put in here So tonight we're having sweet peas rice and chicken. Okay, so This is still poly pescatarian. All right, so um We're gonna eat that and then you will see me a little later uh, Once this is all cool and everything like that. I will start Plating and making the meal. So I'll see y'all back in a little bit Leave a hole in your chest You didn't get that job, get that job Even though you really gave it your best And now you're wondering what's the point What's the point of anything at all But let me tell you why, tell you why That's just life putting you through the test Before the dawn, it's always dark before the light, there is a tunnel Before you run, you gotta stumble It's 
to live your life, live your life, live it right now, cause you only get one. Before the dawn, it's always dark. Before the light, there is a tunnel. Before you run, you gotta stumble. So I had a little bit of stuff left over so I measured out the rice between five plates. I mixed green beans and sweet peas together so like a green bean sweet peas melody or whatnot. Um, so this is a whole, another whole dinner. So all these are dinner. So I have dinner for tomorrow um, which will be Wednesday, Thursday and I have Friday. Um, so I can by the time tomorrow I probably gonna mix a lot of cornbread so this will be Friday's meal and it'll be a lot of cornbread um they have cornbread and then I'm gonna add it some meat cuz tomorrow I'm gonna cook meat some more meat and I'm gonna cook cornbread and then I just add meat to it and I know Friday to get cornbread with this but tomorrow we're gonna have the same thing we had was rice peas and meat and then um, that's gonna be for Wednesday and then Thursday we're gonna have the iced potatoes with the green beans and the meat and then Friday we're gonna have this right here with some cornbread and some meat cuz I'm gonna make some meat tomorrow and then I'll just put it over so it's poly pescatarian to be chicken okay um, so y'all be like oh, yeah, she's saying meat yeah <laughs> um, it'll be it'll be poultry okay okay that's that's what a poly pescatarian would eat so it'll be poetry I'm gonna make it out a different way and then that'll be the meat for this but I have dinner for the next three days already ready these are let me go ahead and say this because I said mainstay in the beginning they are not mainstay they are healthy I will put a picture up in the corner for y'all they are healthy they come in a set um, you can get them at Walmart okay and they are freezer safe all right dishwasher microwave and freezer safe so i will be using some of these when i get some of my older my next meals prepped up i will be putting them in the deep freezer and i will be putting them in this right here um some of them that way you can just come out sit out and get ready to be microwave when it's time to eat them so let me get the lids on these and this is like i say it's fried this meal it's got all it needed meat and cornbread and i'll take care of that tomorrow when i do some of my other 
cooking to get a lot of meals stocked up so I have you know I'll be ahead of it all right ahead of the meal prepping so that is how I do it okay then I just look up and follow take one step at a time babe I'm with you all the way so baby get up 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 no, don't you stay down 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 no. all right y'all I am so 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 tired it is currently 1 48 a.m on Wednesday oh, it's 1 48 a.m. in the morning on Wednesday okay February 14th y'all I'm so tired you hear me um because we ended up having to go do DoorDash and when we got back home it was already almost midnight and I got started on um prepping that stuff and cleaning up the kitchen after because I don't like to leave a messy kitchen. <sighs> I'm tired. Y'all see what I say when I say I'm only one person. <laughs> but I got that done. So y'all seen the meals. Um so I'm happy about that. I can't say tomorrow. I say if God will in a couple hours I'll get started on doing maybe um lunch ideals, um making the kids some overnight oats. So that breakfast will be taken care of for a couple days and all that. So that way there's it's like pull and pull and eat, pull and go, and it's healthy and you know you know. All right, y'all. My camera battery would go down, so I had to <laughs> go exchange the batteries out. But hey, it is what it is. All right, so that is how I'm doing my meal prepping. Um, so now that I'm ahead a little bit. Then I can start like doing my beans and stuff and freezing them like um I don't want to freeze in too big of a quantity because you know it makes it hard to um you have to keep doing that you're a waste and, and when everybody don't eat all of it or whatnot. But I am gonna do in some nice size quantities, just not no huge, huge ones. Um for as when I'm when I'm dividing everything up. But y'all will see all this stuff. Y'all, I'm stumbling over my mind. I need to go shower and get in the bed. Okay? That's that's what that's what I'm, I'm about to do. Okay? So, with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so we notify each and every time that I upload a video. And I will see y'all in the next one. If it's God's will, y'all be safe. Okay? Mwah. Bye. Okay, y'all, that's the end of this video. I hope y'all was motivated and inspired. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you be notified each and every time that I upload a video. And I will see y'all in the next one. If it's God's will, y'all be safe. Okay, until next time. Bye.